everyone, it's Dwellis, Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand. But you all knew where I'm from, so that's alright. Um, okay, a package arrived in the post this morning and my husband brought it in. And I haven't had to open this package because this package is already open. This is how it. my husband picked it up. I don't know where he got it from, somewhere outside. And this bit of lace was hanging out like this. I do not know how that happened and it's from Irene and I guess if she's got a good memory she'll be able to tell me if anything's missing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's a bit odd. It looks as, yeah, it's just been ripped and I don't know, crazy. Anyway, I'm going to open it. This is the, um, this is the last of the chosen entries for my something romantic 330 plus giveaway challenge. Gosh, I'll miss saying that when this is all over. Anyway, so I'm just going to bring all this out. There's a lot of extra goodies in here, I have to say. So I'm just going. I think this will be the main. This will be the main thing. Oops, got something there. Okay. Oh, this is nice. This is different the way it's been wrapped up. And this lovely, um, it's a great big sort of like runner, crochet runner. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, look at this. Irene is always so sweet. Even what she's, um, what she's uh, tied it up with is just so usable. So usable. She's so lovely. She's a generous lady is our Irene. Okay, and here we've got. Oh look, oh, flowers. I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm not gonna touch. Oh wait a minute. No, they're part of their wall hanging. Yep, they are. I think. Okay. Wow, this is a big wall hanging. Gosh, I never realised it was so big, Irene. Whew. I thought I'd done some big ones, but this is big, big, big. So maybe that's the back. I'm not sure. Hold on. Wow, this is pretty. It's so sparkly. Okay, no. I'm just sorting these things out. This that that uh, was a runner, which is good. And a lovely bit of um, vintage pattern paper there to to do it. And it'll just it'll get relaxed after it's all sort of from its journey. That is so cute. Wow, this is so, so sparkly. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it all smoothed out. The image is a bit crinkled in the middle there, but it'll all smooth down when it's all relaxed. Okay, so let's just... Actually, have I got... No, I, haven't, I thought I had it upside down, but I haven't. Right, and there it is. This is one of my chosen entries that I really liked. I just loved it for all the appliques that were on it. Just, you know, anything sparkly or blingy is going to... I'm like a magpie. Yeah, it's certainly going to attract me. <laughs> okay, now this is so big. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring it down. Oh, okay, there's... Oh, that's... Those are the what you hang it on. Now I'm getting it. Cute. Okay, so here we have oops, lovely little um, lot of flowers here, little group of flowers, and all the lovely pinks, including lovely pink leaves. They're pretty. I haven't seen those before. And they're all sitting on this applique. In fact, it's hard to tell where one applique starts and, one appli and the other appliques finish. Maybe it's just one enormous one and with the thing in the middle. I'm not sure. Huh. Anyway, over in this corner we have lovely seam binding. Love that colour of seam binding. It's beautiful. I, I would have loved some of that for my album. It's just this perfect colour, but I haven't got that colour. I've got a similar one, but it's darker. Beautiful centre, bling pearl centre. Gorgeous little tiny um, glittered bow in the corner there. Look, see how small it is? 
just might be able to put this over here a bit further. Get some more light on the subject. How's that? Yeah, that's that little. And there's a that's a um, a placemat. A piece has been cut out of a placemat on that side. We've got some. It's just all pearls. Some lovely handmade flower here with cream lace and pink lace and a gorgeous little pink acrylic heart. I haven't seen that one before. I've got this in cream, but I've never seen it in the pink. So she'll have to tell me where she got that from because I'm a pink girl. And look, this is lovely. She's got these rolled roses, cream rolled roses, and they're graduating from biggest to the smallest. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? It's lovely. And as I say, there's l this is lovely over here. It's all glittered up. There's a little tiny pink, another little pink heart, but it's different from this one. Rolled roses, glittering on these. We've got stain pearl stamens. And these beautiful pink flowers and a pearl sprays up there. Absolutely gorgeous. And over here we've got um, just little diamond bling, just spotted about. That's beautiful as well. And here this gorgeous gold, gold yeah, it's a gold applique with a beautiful bling and pearl centre. And the same one down here. And we've got pearls here, more of these um, little diamond, single diamonds all sort of dotted around. Lovely um, crochet doily there behind it, a big one, and it comes right over here. Um, and lots more appliques and pearls. The image, lovely image. I think it's printed on paper. Yeah, I think so. Beautiful. Got a very faded old look to it. And I think Irene told me about this. It's an angel. I remember she said to me that she was quite... Was it something about her printer doesn't print all that well, but it gives them an old look? I think that's correct. I might be wrong there. I might be totally wrong. I often am. It's uh, coming up to 8 o'clock in the evening here, Tuesday evening. And I did thrift shopping today. <laughs> oh, I only went to two thrift shops and I must have been there for an hour. And then I went to Spotlight. I, I can't even, don't even want to think about how much money I've spent today. But you know, you have to do this. So this is a, a, a lovely image. The angel with its big wings out the back and holding the book. A beautiful pink sash across here with little gold stars. Now down here we've got another homemade flower and she's made that out of this um, fabric roses and then just put this lovely I think this will be a running stitch little pink here and this lovely bit of bling I'm pretty sure she gave me a piece of that bling in, in my rack on my prize winnings I'm sure I've seen that we've got more appliques here roses here again graduating in size another one of these gorgeous um, gold appliques with full of bling and absolutely beautiful. I think she's put that on herself. And down here we've just got um, just loads and loads of, um, this looks like Tressel Deluxe I would say. I know she, she had a um, prize winning I, I believe which was about $45 or something like something like that from Tracel Deluxe and then she's, she spent a lot more in, the, in that shop herself. So that's all layers of Tracel Deluxe there. I'm pretty sure that is Tracel because I've had that one at the back I think, one very similar. Anyway, just beautiful. And so that's layered down there and underneath it all there's um, this placemat which I think is running right the way through because there it is up running down the sides, either side. So I think it's one great big placemat that's the backing of it. And then we've got all the other lusciousness on top. Lusciousness is my new word. Yes, it is. Absolutely beautiful. And as I say, I just cannot believe how big this is. I mean, she said it was big, but I was thinking big like my biggest one which would be smaller than this. So that's just amazing. Uh, okay, over here, let's see what we've got on the back here. Oh yes, she's got um, 
curtain fabric there. Oh, that's pretty good. She's dated it and made for Dulles Harrison's first challenge with love from Irene. Seriously scrapping. Like I would forget who did this for me. As if I will not forget who entered my challenge and I, and love, and I will not forget what their lovely oh. entries were and the playlist will stay up for a long time. And here this is the hanger. Handmade roses. She's put a pin at the back and pinned it onto this lovely seam binding which is hanging up. It's a nice thick luscious handmade one and, and that's Broadway Anglaise and several layers of it. Lovely pearls built up in the centre there. And this one is sort of a silky type of fabric. Like you, you know, like sort of similar to what you get old tablecloths made in, I think, all frayed and shabbylicious, and there's a little feather tucked in there. Um, and a lovely bit of a piece of bling. That's probably a, off an old earring, I would think. Very pretty. And more feathers down there. I think there might be feathers on that one as well. So there you go. Oh, look, I forgot this one here. We've got a lovely doily flower here. Two layers of doily, and there's a third one there, and we've got some cheesecloth around here, which we call muslin in this country. And yeah, she, she did send me some of these, because I've used some of them on centres. But that is just beautiful. I'll just pan up it. And I hope you're seeing it in all its splendour, right down to all those luscious laces. And luscious laces, isn't that a gorgeous thing to say? Luscious laces. Right, I'm going to pop that over there. And of course that beautiful runner, tasseled runner that she wrapped it in. That was a lovely way of wrapping it. That says hi there, I think. Hold on. Is it saying hi there? It says something there. Uh, in fact, I don't know. There's a whole lot that it says, I don't know. I'll have to look at it later. Something in the... <coughs> I'll have to look at this. No. Probably look at it in daylight and it would be better. Okay, so hopefully nothing went missing from this package. I don't know how it got all ripped like that. That's just crazy. That's the first time a package has ever turned up like that, all ripped and carried on. Oh no, I tell a lie, I did have one from America when I was bought um, a little angel, China ceramic angel from eBay some years ago and I got notified by, th there was a notice on the box when it arrived because there was a little, there was some dent in it and it said, you know, that the post office had noted that it was damaged and if it was broken inside to get back to them and do a claim but it actually wasn't broken. Here's a nice doily, squared oblong doily. Oh, she sent um, a yard of this. I, I bought some of this off her from her shop, her Etsy shop, which is also the same as her YouTube name, so, um, Seriously Scrapping. And I bought this off her. And look at that. You can get a yard for $3. That's not bad, actually. In fact, that's very good. So for those ladies who live in Australia or New Zealand, that's excellent being able to buy there because the postage will be a lot less, of course. Actually, her postage is is, um, is very reasonable. <sighs> Some more of that lovely lace there with the ribbon going through the middle. Another lovely doily. This is interesting. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I think this might be... Yes, I think this might be attached to the what we hang the um, what we hang the the wall hanging from. Isn't that beautiful? Very shabbylicious. All that um, beautiful tassels there. There's a wild orchid craft Tuscany rose, wild orchid craft gardenia by the look of it. And she's curled up the wire, and she's all shaped, you know made it all different shapes and put a binding all around it and these beautiful um, Trestle Deluxe, I'm pretty sure they are, um, lace, they do some gorgeous laces, Trestle. Um, beautiful little bows here, 
these little tiny iridescent bows, just gorgeous. It just very shabbalicious, isn't it? So I'm pretty sure that that is what the wall hanging hangs from. And here we've got another doily that was all wrapped up in, lovely circular doily. That's lovely. Oh, look at this. What does this say here? Hi, Doulas. This blending tool is $7 in my Etsy store. It comes with homemade pad. I run out, I ran out, oh, I ran out to pop one in, sorry. Hmm? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means. She will know what that means and she will tell me. Now, I am still having this YouTube super glitch, which means that I can comment on anybody else's video apart from my dear friend Irene. I mean, I can comment on it and I can see it, but she can't see it and neither can anybody else. <laughs> and I keep forgetting and I keep doing great big long comments to her and then I post it up and then I, so I, I click off and then I suddenly realise that she's not going to be able to read that comment anyone and anyway and neither is anybody else going to read it so I'm sorry Irene I ripped all that but it was a bit hard to, to take all the um, tape off oh look at that isn't that gorgeous Irene makes these herself I've lost mine. I had a small um, Tim Holtz one which I bought from a craft shop in, in Wanganui or Fonganui as it's now known which is a city about 35 minutes from me and I've lost it. In the chaos of my um, craft room I have managed to lose it and I haven't found it for ages so when I blend I've been sort of sticking my finger in instead and getting ink all over my finger. Isn't that gorgeous? So Irene has made them herself and she's selling them in her shop and decorated really prettily. So these are selling for seven dollars in her shop and absolutely beautifully decorated, very shabby chic and this down here which is um, I'm guessing you I'm not sure whether you put your ink on there or whether you put your ink on the page and then you blend it with that. She'll have to tell us because I I'm, haven't really done a lot of that sort of thing. Oh, now there was a bag under here that I put earlier. Better rescue that. I'm all yours, do not share. There you go. I love these little bags. I don't know where people get them from, but they're so cute. Oh, look, she's got some little medallions. Um, I've used one of these in my, um, the fabric album I'm making at the moment because I bought some from her shop when it first opened. And you get two for one dollar forty in the store yes because I think you get two of these and then you get two of another one or maybe I'm wrong there I don't know because I've also got an oval one that you can put a um, cameo into but these are lovely and when I do my round um, when I show my album get around to showing the album on the 17th or 18th of July um, I'll be able to point that out to you they're, they're gorgeous oh my gosh look at these these are new stock of wood veneers. You get four for one dollar forty in her shop. Aren't they lovely? Little violins. Isn't that the cutest? Thank Irene, thank you so much, sweetie. And she gave me more than four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's given me eight. But that's very reasonably priced. Four do um four for one dollar forty. I mean you 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 know. You just couldn't get that as cheap, I imagine, anywhere else. They're beautiful. It's going to look fabulous, very romantic on certain projects. And there's another bag of things. I love these bags. Aren't they gorgeous? Gorgeous. Ooh. Oh, okay. I think these might be serviettes. Sorry for the glare. I'm pretty sure there might be serviettes. She says, I've got a lot more pictures in my store. I sell two for $1.20. These are some of them. So maybe they're not um, serviettes, actually. I think they might be images on, um, like, paper. Let's see if I can figure out how to open it. She's done this to me before. Hold on. I think I'm doing it. 
Yes. It's a hidden thing. She does this. She does it to upset me, I'm sure. Or not to upset me, to frustrate me. And she succeeds. There. Isn't that lovely? I'm only joking. Of course she doesn't do it to upset or frustrate me. Do you, Irene? Lovely, lovely white horse. So it's a circus scene. A Victorian circus scene. Isn't that precious? That is just yummy. That's yummy licious. And it's good quality paper as well. You know, none of this... I get so disappointed if I buy paper and it turns out to be really quite flimsy. hate that. And you have to back it with cards if you're doing a layout. That's lovely. Hand with the rose and the beautiful bride and the little deer in the background. Oh, this is pretty. I'm trying to read what this says, but... Something a grain of sand. And my eyesight's getting worse, even though I've got reading glasses. I think I need them much stronger now. That's beautiful. That lavender, fields of lavender with the castle and the mountains. Isn't that precious? And here we've got just a plain background. That's beautiful. I might use that actually. I'm doing a project for my youngest son's partner the mother of my 10 month old grandson and I'm doing something for her and her favourite colour is purple so I'm using purple in it I'm altering a box for her to, I thought that was the best thing to do, that she can keep things in the box, this is the Eiffel Tower of course, balloons and a lovely young romantic couple in the corner there beautiful and here we've got stripes I must pop in and have a look at her shop. I have I, I went over there in a hurry before I went to work last week, I think. And then, but, but I was in a hurry, as I say. I was sort of just did it as I was sort of virtually heading out the door. So you get you get two of those, two of these beautiful images um, for a dollar twenty. And these are, these are just showing a selection, and she's got more of them. So that's that's really good value. Oh, these are pretty. Gorgeous. Uh, four centimetre diameter. Pink and white two-tone paper carnations. And you get six of these for $1.20. That's not bad, is it? Let's see if I can figure out how to open this one. Oops, the baby. And she's given me six. Aren't they lovely? That's, that's super, super pretty. Just beautiful. And that six for a dollar twenty. I mean, that's really good value. Now, got the fun and games of trying to put them back in there again. Oh yeah, I've done it. That's very pretty. Lovely. Oh look, she said she's going to send me one of these. It's got a little single little um, diamond bling in the middle. Beautiful gold applique. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, hi Doulis. This is a similar gold leaf I saw on Kay's, that's Kassikin's one heart project on the back. She sells it, I sell them in my Etsy store and you get two for $1.60. That's not bad, is it? A beautiful applique. So two for a dollar sixty on these lovely unusual gold ones, just gorgeous. And they're not flat; they they've got another layer on them. They're very pretty. Okay, that must be about it. Oh no, no, I tell a lie. There's more, and there's more. Look, we've got another one of these lovely, lovely um, oblong things. Oh, these are nice. Sorry for the glare. Very pretty. We've got red, sort of a, um, it's like a Victorian, um, it's not quite a, it's dark, not dark enough to be called a burgundy, but it's not a bright red either, so, and beautiful pink here. Absolutely lovely candy floss pink. New colours in her store, selling these for $1.50 for half a yard. That's very lovely, because they're a good, big size. These, um, in New Zealand, um, I can get these off Trade Me, which is the equivalent to eBay, um, and I've bought them off this lady, and they're $10 a metre. 
So that's a lot lot more than a dollar fifty a half a yard. That would only be three dollars a yard a, a metre for a yard. And I've I've bought them for ten dollars. That's for the same that's uh, I could buy three lots of this for what I've got for mine. That's beautiful. Right, I think I've got a card right at the end. There you go. I should have got this at the beginning. Dearest Dollars. Yes, I have done that without even reading that, Irene. I'm clever, aren't I? Look, she knows I've got a golden retriever. And he's a very similar colour. He's a little bit more white than this. But he's he's got the champagne colour on him as well. And he's Loopy Locky. And, you know, we named him Locky after the Viking god of mischief. And, you know, you get what you name. And he, he's adorable. He's just turned two years old yesterday. So, you know... We've got over the we've got over the puppy stage, we've got over the dreadful adolescent stage and now we're sort of approaching adulthood. Yay. But we still call him Loopy Locky, very affectionate. Yeah, you know, he won't touch his biscuits until both of us are in the room if both of us are in the house. If one of us is in the house and one's at work, you know, he'll wolf down his biscuits, but if both of us are in the house, he will not touch those biscuits until we are both in the same room with him. So cute. The others are all whooping down their biscuits. They don't care. <laughs> oh, yes, she says, Dear Dwellers, I believe this may resemble Lockie. Yes, <laughs> it does resemble Lockie. How are you? I hope my parcel finds you well. Congratulations on hosting your first challenge. And thank you for picking my entry as one of your favourites. I'm sorry it is late. I hope it hasn't been too much of an inconvenience. No, it's still within the time because I said up to the 14th and it's only, the, I think, the 7th today. I hope you will love your wall hanging. I do love it. I've had it hanging on my wall and now it's, it's doing the rounds, going to its new home with you. Lots of love. Irene. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, that is so sweet. I mean, I love my wall hanging. <laughs> Used to be your wall hanging, now it's mine. Um, when I when I first saw this, when Irene put this up, and I believe that hers was the second after Kay's entry to go up, to be posted up, I believe that's correct. And I saw it, and I made this comment. I went, OMG, girl, you have outdone yourself. And you know... I was like heaping praise on and then she couldn't even see my comment and she got all upset because she thought I hadn't commented. And that was when we realised that you too had struck again. Okay, I just missed these out. And these are these gorgeous little um, single diamantes. Look, she, uh, she's, she's put it in one of these packets. I can't get this packet undone. I'm just going around in circles here. Oh, there you go. That's it. Gorgeous. They're like these, um, they're just little single pieces of bling. Now, I don't know whether she cuts them off. She gets, you know, maybe she gets a whole string of it and then cuts them off singly. Or whether she buys them singly. I don't know. Hmm, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And she goes, you get 20 of those for $2 in her store. So that's not bad, is it? 20 of those lovely little bling things pieces for two dollars in her shop and that shop don't forget is the same as her youtube id seriously scrapping on etsy and i'm hoping that she's doing very well i'm sure she is i hope you know i i, I know she got heaps of support when she first opened so that's great so let's hope you know it continues and as i say i'm, I'm going to have to go back over there and have another have another look because um, I've been so frantically busy with, you know, with trying to do everything behind the scenes, which I'm not allowed to put up because, you know, some of it's not ready to be put up and some of it can't be put up because it's for a swap and it's all secret. Secret. So, that's beautiful and this goes up there. Yes, it does. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
So I'm going to finish here because I have run and I've gone over I've gone over 30 minutes. I think this is the longest video I've ever made. Okay, thanks for bearing with me and thanks for watching and I hope you got to the end. <laughs> See you later. Take care. God bless. Bye.